Welcome back, Pearl. We've been highlighting that the Nifty is as quiet as can be. So let's get you an exclusive story then. Kesarom Industries, that's hired in trade. Vivek is picking up some information from his sources on this particular company. Vivek, tell us, what have you been picking up? Well, absolutely. You know, the cement industry in the last couple of years has seen significant consolidation. A lot of important M&A activity has been happening in this particular space itself. And what we are picking up from our sources here at CNBC TV18 is that Kesaram Sim... Kesaram Industries, you know, this particular company may be under the block. We understand that Ultra Tech Cement has gone ahead and evinced interest to buy the cement assets of Kesaram Industries. Uh, sources are indicating that Ultra Tech Cement is currently actually undertaking due diligence of these cement assets. We also understand at this point of time, Ultra Tech is exploring both buying out the existing promoter from the company or the other option that they could uh, pursue could be just the cement business acquisition. Now remember, Kesaram Industries has two segments. Uh, one is the cement business and the other is the rayon business. Now talking specifically about the cement business, uh, they have a total cement manufacturing capacity of close to 10 million tons per annum. And this particular capacity is present across two states of Karnataka as well as Telangana. So Altatech Cement, you know, would be able to add close to 10 million tons uh, per annum of capacity if this particular deal does come to fruition. Now talking about Altatech Cement's capacity itself, you know, capacity of over 130 million tons per annum. The company has set out an FI26 or 2027 target of adding close to 182 million tons per annum. So that is where they want to reach and this particular acquisition will help them do so. Now talking about the existing promoter holding. Now remember the total promoter holding in Kesaram Industries is close to 43.4 percent and very interestingly Pilani Investments and Industries Corporation which is itself the Birla Group holding company where KM Birla, you know, part of the KM Birla Group holding company. They already own close to 14.92% stake in the company. Also, Century Textiles holds close to 2.5% stake in the company. Uh, very interesting, you know, we'll be, stay updated on as far as this particular deal is concerned. Uh, also, we reached out to both Ultratech Cement as well as Kesaram Industries. At this point of time, we are yet to, yet to receive a response from both of these companies. All right, Vivek, thanks a lot for that. Well, just to follow up with some quick analysis on that, uh, first, just pull up the last one-month chart of Kestrom Industries. Post its numbers, the stock is up close to around 50%. Also, it seems the street is sniffing that there could be some kind of corporate production. Just pull up the chart, that tells you the picture. 50%, it's already higher. Next up, what's Kestrom's problem? They have a debt of close to around, uh, you know, roughly around 17 to 1,800 crores odd. And their borrowing costs, that's the interest that they pay is nearly around 18, 19%. So the high debt and high interest cost. What works for Kesaram though? They have a large capacity, close to around 10 and a half to 11 million tons odd of capacity is what they had. And in terms of valuations, it trades at around $65 per ton. That compares with replacement cost of around $100 per ton. So that's normally the benchmark that you look at when there is a deal that's happening in the cement industry. So that's another point. Valuations support them. What do you need to track from here on? <coughs> One is the structure of the deal. Remember, Mr. Birla, he already has an indirect holding in case from industries via those two uh, entities. That's the Pilani investment and uh, the other entity as well. So roughly around 16-17% is already what he has out of the 43% of the promoter entity. The valuations of the deal are going to be very, very important. At what price uh, is it st is struck at if in case it does uh, takes place? And how is this deal structured? You know, because as it is, you already have part of the promoter entity that's already, you know, already registered as a promoter entity. So how do they work it? At one point of time, there were talks that there could be a rights issue. So you'll have to keep an eye out on that front. And also we'll have to eye what happens to the rayons and the chemicals business. The management has been talking about separating that business in the past, but we haven't seen any progress. So what happens to that business as well? How does it help Altitech Cement? Well, they've already drawn out a plan where they reach closer to 100, 185 million tons odd by 2026. Well, this helps them get closer to around 200 million tons and also a better market share in West as well as South India because bulk of the sales of Kestrom Industries are in West and South India. Those are all the uh, you know, data points that you need to keep in mind. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to CNBC TV 18. Make sure you follow us and stay updated on all our social media platforms.